Hey everyone and welcome back. Mr. Steve here with Mr. Kevin. Uh, we hope everyone is doing well. We hope uh, everyone is safe. And as always, make sure that we are, you know, we have our parents' permission, we can have their participation when doing this, make sure we have open space, and we put a focus on safety over everything. With that being said, where we get started, we'll stand up straight. And a sign of respect, we will bow. So we're gonna warm up as always with our break falls. By now you should be pretty comfortable break falls at home, at least I hope you are. You should be if you did it right, took your time, build up to it, then just rush it. One minute, break falls, make sure you're always standing, good position, eyes up. And go! Play. One minute. Go! Transitioning between the two ranges from opening strikes. Now, while they're not uh, crazy different, there is a difference, right? And we want to make sure that it's footwork that's helping us ch uh, make that distance uh, change. If we were working with open hand strikes, it's natural that we'll be wanting to put pressure on the person by moving forward as it is. If the person were to come forward back to the little bit close, or we're just able to take ground quicker than we anticipated, we end up close enough, again, gripping onto the opponent, or in this case, our target, using control, striking with our elbow, clinching, giving a knee, and then releasing, right? Disengaging, and you're ready to go. So we're gonna go next to control just for just one minute. I'm gonna have Mr. Kevin work on just giving me one or two palms. It's not gonna just be set on doing and uh, on, on the one thing, right? So you can do one or two palms, uh, step in, clinch, one or two elbows, double hand, uh, double clinch, then one or two knees. So it's, it's a little bit of an open combination. We'll do this for one minute. And when I hold, he decides. One or two palms, combo, step in, the clinch, one or two elbows, he picks, one or two knees. And he can mix it up, right? So the whole time, we'll just for one minute, he can give, you know, one palm and step in, boom, clinch, elbow, one elbow, one knee, or two elbows. It's really, it's up to him. Okay, keep it safe. If you hit the target, not your partner, just one minute. Palms, stepping in to elbow, getting two hands on the, our uh, target for our knee. One minute. Echo, play. Mr. Kevin will face me in his guard stance, and I'm gonna move. He's just going to shadow my movement. 
Move it backwards, move it forward, move it forward, move it backwards. He's moving. Whenever I want now, I'm going to throw a hook. He's going to cover. Now, after he covers, I'm either going to be in the position, give him space for a palm, or I'm going to be closer, which he has to elbow and knee. So when I throw my palm, if I'm far away, palm, and palm. That's it. And we'll be back to movement. But if I want, when I go to palm, I'll step in. He'll cover. Boom. Clinch. Elbow. Psh, knee. Now, this is difficult uh, for the holder because if I'm holding, I have to make sure that I'm act, uh, properly closing the distance when I want my partner to elbow uh, in a way that's safe, so I'm not getting hit. And uh, understand that if you know the person striking makes a mistake uh, and uses the wrong combative, uh, you know, mistakes happen. Adjust and fix it, keep going. Uh, just as long as we're not making the mistake of, like I said, you know, elbowing our partner. So keep it safe. Again, we're just for one minute. I'll move, he'll move. If I swing and I stay where I am, he just palms. But if I swing and step forward, he elbows and knees. One minute. All right. And go! Play. And go. Someone is in my personal space. Someone's in my personal space, but you know, and they do try to strike me. My goal would be to counterattack and then immediately get away, not to shadow their movement. It's to create space, get away. If I can't get away initially, you know, strike them so I can get away. Uh, but it wouldn't be to stay moving. It's just that's a drill to help us work on, like I said, balanced movement, uh, breathing with our hands up, with uh, 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 seeing strikes coming. No one would be working on generating power right now. It's really not the best idea usually at home if you don't have. And they're kicking a, a pillow or a cushion, you know, it'll be safe. So we've been working our single leg and kind of side control mount. I'm going to have our partners work on, I believe we did post last time. Let's work on our, let's do it inside time. We'll work from inside control. And we'll work on coming inside and getting a good single. Really putting the emphasis on safety here as I turn, Mr. Kevin is doing a good break call. But last time he pulled his feet out, and I was here. We would shake, move, bring my chest down. As I bring my chest down, I'm gonna have Mr. Kevin's hands kind of pushing into me a little bit, to where I feel like I can't come down as, uh, as uh, uh, solid as I want for side control. So instead, I'll, I'm kind of in side control, but my knee's not gonna slide over. I'm just going right to the mount. And we'll stop. So we're kind of, we're not going straight to the mount. I want you to go side first. They're going to pull their feet out. Once again. He pulls his feet out. Boom. So as I'm here, boom. As I come down, though, he's framing me a little bit. I feel like I can't. And I don't want to just go into his frame. I'm going to think about my knee coming across, my chest over his head, two leg hooks. All right. So one minute. Last time. Remember, if I keep his foot in between my legs, then I can absolutely try to smash right over and cross face the mouth. But this is the situation where the person's pulled their foot out when I'm here, and I'm trying to move to the side, and again, as I'm moving to the side, his hands go to post, I get my leg in and slide. All right, just one minute. Uh, get control. Echo, play.
keep going, almost done. job. Again, if you were at home with mats or, you know, whether it's a wrestling match, gymnastic match, and want to work your takedowns with more energy or resistance, feel free. But with the assumption you're training something like a carpet, the most dangerous thing you could do is takedowns. And so, given that this is a short thing, you only go, you know, it feels like forever, right? But it's two months. It's not like if we said, okay, we're going to be permanently training at home, then we would want to get used to doing more and more work at, at home. But since we know this is temporary, I think it's just safer to say we're gonna work with real control to takedowns and uh, just focus on technique. So that way, like I said, when we come back, you know, we just, we feel sharper than we would be if we, we took off the whole time. So, excellent job, hope everyone's having fun, and we will be back in a minute with uh, part two.